Against all odds, Elon Musk remains committed to his promise of establishing a human civilization on Mars. This mission is one that is faced with numerous logical and scientific challenges. But as a pioneer of multiple successful businesses and one of the biggest innovators of the 21st century, there is absolutely no room for failure or excuses from Musk. Hence, the billionaire has set out to build the most powerful and sophisticated spacecraft ever known to mankind. More importantly, the Tesla and Twitter CEO has approved plans to equip this next-generation spacecraft with artificial gravity. But what does this technology mean and what exactly does it do? Join us in this exciting video as we explore the astonishing 2022 artificial gravity spaceship that SpaceX and Elon Musk are building. Musk's decision to colonize Mars has divided opinion. Some think it's a genius idea, and others say it's extravagant. But regardless of these opinions, the former world's richest man is bent on implementing his grand idea. As the founder of SpaceX, Musk is one of the biggest stakeholders in the aerospace industry. But even at that, the task at hand is one that requires great commitment and innovation. Musk's grand plan is powered by the Starship, a powerful mega-rocket that is expected to take to the skies in April 2023. According to reports, this advanced spaceship will be configured to serve different purposes, including transporting humans and cargo. As standard, the Starship will have a maximum capacity of over 100 tonnes. This, according to the manufacturer, will come in handy for the long-distance trip to Mars. On average, Mars is about 255 million kilometres away from our home planet. For perspective, the spacecraft travelling at 24,600 miles per hour will need around seven months to travel from Earth to Mars. And as far as we know, the interplanetary voyage could last even longer. So it is imperative for any spaceship that will embark on such a journey to have the necessary amenities to support astronauts throughout this journey. As a result, the Starship spacecraft will be equipped with an advanced life support system. However, we know well enough that other things like food, water, rocket fuel and other construction materials will be required. According to Elon Musk, we will need to send about 1,000 spaceships to Mars to ensure sustainability. But this was back in 2020, when the Starship mega rocket was still under development. Current news around the development suggests that the Starship will have a unique design where the main structure of the rocket will be split into two halves. One half will be known as the upper stage, while the other will be known as the lower stage or the super heavy booster. After takeoff, the Starship will make its way to the Kármán line into the Earth's orbit. Then the lower orbit or super heavy booster will detach and return to Earth. At about the same time, the upper stage of the spacecraft will proceed to refuel in orbit before finally embarking on the journey to Mars. The amazing thing about the Starship is that both the upper stage and lower stages of the rocket will be reusable. Critically, the reusability factor means that the operating cost of the Starship will be cheaper and perhaps, more importantly, will be able to launch more trips within a short period. According to the rumours, SpaceX plans to manufacture about 1,000 Starship rockets with the intention of launching at least three trips per day. Moving on to the powertrain, experts say this incredibly robust spacecraft will be powered by 30 Raptor engines, which ironically are also designed and produced by SpaceX. With this level of firepower behind it, the Starship rocket will most likely perform beyond expectations. In February 2023, SpaceX successfully launched two spacecrafts to orbit under five hours. Before now, no other aerospace company had managed to achieve this feat, and if they continue on this trajectory, they might be able to launch up to five or six missions per day. And with these crazy possibilities all within reach, one can only imagine how dynamic the Starship will be. Aside from being the most powerful spacecraft ever manufactured by scientists, some scientists believe that Starship will also be the most flexible and reliable rocket in the entire universe, at least until we find a spacecraft designed by a higher civilization. It's no secret that the main reason for developing the Starship spacecraft is to use it as a vehicle to Mars. But aside this, NASA plans to use this advanced space vehicle for other purposes. For instance, the space agency could use it to travel to the International Space Station, ISS, or perhaps even the Moon. 
Additionally, the spacecraft could also be used to travel to other friendly environments in our solar system. Depending on the distance, the Starship might not necessarily need massive fortification and heavy carriage capacity. On average, trips to the ISS would usually last for a few hours, which means the amount of fuel needed would be significantly reduced. A trip to the Moon will require more fuel and carriage capability, but certainly not at the same capacity that is needed to travel to Mars. Also, because of the harsh environment and harmful radiation that will be experienced on the journey to Mars, the Starship will be equipped with robust shields. However, the problem of gravity is one that has been left unsolved for a while. But thankfully, that's expected to be the main forte of the Starship spacecraft. Gravity has always been an issue, even from relatively short trips to the ISS, as astronomers need to stick to a predetermined routine of exercise to stay fit and healthy. And more often than not, even this is not enough and astronauts will have to undergo several recovery programs when they return to Earth. These are only short-term implications, but the long-term edge is much worse. Speaking on the issue around microgravity, Nitsa Sintron, Chief of NASA's Space Medicine and Healthcare Systems Office, said, In microgravity, bone loss occurs at a rate of 1 to 1.5% a month, leading to an acceleration of age-related changes similar to osteoporosis. Medical research has shown over the years that microgravity can alter the ability of bones to heal after ruptures. Other problems that could also arise from spending extended time in weightlessness include loss of muscle mass, strength and of course endurance, particularly in the lower extremities. All of these combined and the effects of microgravity on connective tissues further increases the risk of fatigue and injury in astronauts. Also, microgravity is known to have some level of effect on the neurovestibular system. As you know, the neurovestibular system is an integrated collection of neural sensory and brain circuits that helps to facilitate several basic actions in humans. These include maintaining balance, stabilizing vision, and understanding the body orientation in regards to location and direction. In addition, extended trips to zero-gravity regions cause a significant reduction in bone density and increased strength in other skeletal regions like the pelvis. While some of these changes are reversible upon return to Earth, other implications like kidney stones, bone fractures and bone demineralization might lead to permanent health challenges. And that's why the artificial gravity feature on the Starship is essential. But how does SpaceX plan to achieve this? Some experts have offered some valid explanation of how this could work. One of them is small stars, who estimated that a 100 meter long starship would need to attain a rotational velocity of 31 meters per second to achieve the desired result. According to their calculations, this would produce the feeling of 1G and make three rotations per minute. According to their calculations, this method would also improve the overall fuel efficiency of the Starship spacecraft. In conclusion, when the Artificial Gravity Starship project by Elon Musk is completed, it will be a major milestone achieved not just for SpaceX, but for the entire aerospace industry as a whole. It's important to note that the Artificial Gravity Starship doesn't guarantee the safety of astronauts 100%. But of course, it will definitely improve their chances of surviving the harsh environment of the Martian world. And we cannot wait to see it set sail. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one.